All right. I don't know why I have these on. No. This week in indoor football, the IFLs kicked off their second week of the season. The CIFs kicked off the second week of their season. The America West Football Conference kicked off this weekend. Tri City and Idaho faced off over on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, you can go to Facebook to watch AWFC games. Forgot about that. Um, there, there's some other things as well. You know, we got to go back to the whole Vegas Nas game. The, the Nas Wranglers, you know. Oh, boy, that was, a, that was a rough game for the Wranglers there, man. Let me tell you, you don't just score three points for like 59 minutes, you know, and then you finally get a touchdown like with less than a minute to go. So, typical Naz type stuff right there. You know, you got you got the Wranglers just looking absolutely terrible against Vegas. Um, the game that just finished up um, actually was also a pretty good game. Uh, uh, a higher scoring game for once. I'm very surprised. San Diego, the Strike Force, took on Bay Area. And unfortunately for the Strike Force, they got stopped on multiple occasions. And the curse of San Diego... The Chargers, the San Diego Chargers, lives on in the strike force because they kept missing kicks, kept getting stopped inside, you know, the five-yard line, stuff like that, when they shouldn't have been able to get stopped, you know, like multiple goal line stands by Bay Area. Both quarterbacks could not throw the ball very well, you know, in this game either, and I don't know what in the world was wrong with the turf. The turf turf monster must have got a lot of people because there were a lot of injuries in this Bay Area San Diego game and that needs to stop that needs to not be a thing please and then you got you know um, Vegas's production like again Vegas Bay Area both their games were top-notch but Vegas in particular had a production error in the final air uh, in the final minute of the game in which the stream basically froze again it, it was inconsequential anyway we knew Vegas was coming out with the victory you know it was 22 to 3 at one point it was only 22 to 9 with with less than a minute to go so it, it I don't think they stopped they stopped it at like 2 or 3 in the morning I'm not sure when the IFL actually stopped it it'll say like 2 hours and uh, 48 minutes or whatever you know, we you see the stream archive, but that stream was still saying it was live, and there were people still on there after 1 a.m. here in the Central Time Zone. So, you know, uh, Nate Davis. Unfortunately, we were robbed. I for, totally forgot to talk about you know the the whole Duke City Arizona matchup. A lot of people are picking Duke City to win the United Bowl this year. And unfortunately, Nate Davis got injured. And thus, we were robbed of a shootout between Duke City and Arizona. Arizona be, was able to blow over and whip up on Duke City. I'm not sure what the CIF scores from this weekend were, but I think most of those games were blowouts as well because I know Topeka got whipped for the most part. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's basically all that from the IFL, the National Indoor Football. I know somebody asked me, you know, about their developmental league last week. Uh, the NIF is still having problems, it seems, like the Chicago Power uh, canceled the game against the Central Illinois Royals, and their turf apparently could not, you know, was unable to, you know, be usable for the game. That game was eventually rescheduled. And then you got the Westchester Apaches opting out of the season. So the NIF is like down to like five or six teams. They had nine originally. Remember, uh, the Indianapolis Enforcers died during the offseason. Like they just were like, yeah, we're done. And go away. We're done. We're not doing this anymore. And then you go, you got uh, whoever the Renegades are. They got a, there's a forfeit win for the Royals again. You know, there. So I don't know what's going on with the NIF right now. They need to get it together really quickly. You know, they need to get it together real quick. And they, they just got to do something. Uh, the Spokane Shock, you know, apparently, you know, Sam Adams is still trying to find a lead for, for the Spokane team, but that's not happening. You know, they're, they're st they're st he's still trying to say, you know, 
he and whoever else is running the Spokane organization is still trying to save it. They're trying to find a lead. There's there's no there's no point. Just give it up. Give it up. Give it up. And then the sugar should have been stars, the FCF. Have unveiled their new logos. I mean, not new logos. Uni new uniforms. They're all right. They're all right. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. Nothing else really to see here. Nothing else really to say here. Uh, I know Sioux Falls also whipped up on Quad City. You know, Quad Sites. You know, you know, Quad Sites. You know, hit, hit inside the IFL. You know, made an error last week. Called them quad sites. It's the quad cities. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it for this week in indoor football. There's not a lot else to go over. Um, NAL's got some big sightings. I'm not even going to talk about those again because I mean I, I I'm completely lost right now when it comes to who's been signed and everything like that. And um, I'll see you next Monday night. Yeah, that's it. It's the only video this week. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take care. Have a good week. I'll try and see if I can get myself motivated to, you know, do something myself. So hopefully that happens and I'll see you next Monday night.